this video. As you guys can see by the title, your girl is back with yet another first impressions video. And I know your girl's been spitting these motherfuckers out because I just uploaded a new first impressions just last night. So if you guys have not checked that out, I will icon it up above. It was pretty much the roast and a review of the KKW concealers that just recently came out, the concealer kits, them $80 shits. Your girl got her hands on a few of those and did a really good, um, very thorough roast and review of the KKW kits. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, like I said, it'll be linked down below or I card it up above and it's also in this playlist as the video before this video you were looking at right here. That, in addition to the fact that while you guys are sitting here, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the, first of all, subscribe button. All of that is down below. Hit the subscribe button, become part of the fam bam. If you guys don't already know who the hell I is, my name is Sandy, and I'm just a crazy as hell ass beauty enthusiast who pretty much does a little bit of everything here on this channel. The one thing you will get out of this channel is you will get some good ass laughs in addition to the fact that I also provide information for you, especially in these first impressions videos that could potentially save you some hard earned coin. Because most of the time I'm the bitch spending the hard earned coin to try to get you not to spend your hard earned coin. So thumbs up for that shit, okay? And today it's a little bit different, okay? Cause I don't really get these opportunities very often, but when I do, I'ma go ahead and you know, show them to y'all. Because a bitch got herself some PR in the mail. Bam! Bitch! Let me tell y'all something. When I got these in the mail, I was so ecstatic. So, everybody at Beauty Bakery, thank you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations to Kashmir, who is the CEO and founder of Beauty Bakery. As you guys already know, if you guys have not been living under a rock, Beauty Bakery is just booming, honey, okay? Number one, it is a black owned company. Number two, it is a female owned, black owned company. They have come out with so many amazing products. Their packaging is impeccable, okay? And I mean, for me, it is on all in the details, but in addition to the fact they have come out with some amazing ass products. I have done many reviews so far. They are not sponsored, okay? Bitch discovered this shit on her own as a do it for the gram type of thing and checked out their lip whips, which is what they originally came out with. I I saw it on Instagram. I saw the little smudge proof test of those lip whips. If you guys want to check out that video, it's up above. Bitch, I ordered them shits myself and I was hooked. You guys know how much I love a matte lip, okay? So ever since then, I have been absolutely in love with this brand. I have tried so many of their products that I absolutely love and I have now developed a relationship with Beauty Bakery. So hey y'all over there, okay? Just FYI, cause I know motherfuckers gonna wanna say in the comments, oh I know this is gonna make you a little biased, bitch. If you don't know me by now, <laughs> let me put you on game, bitch. Um, it don't matter who the fuck sends me shit, okay? Because Sandy keeps it all the way the fuck real. That's why y'all watch, okay? For all of y'all longtime viewers, that's why y'all trust me to give you guys everything from the rooter to the motherfucking tutor about everything beauty related or whatever the case, okay? So again, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and we about to get up in this motherfucker because we got a few things to showcase in this video today, okay? So, Beauty Bakery has recently come out with their cake face foundations. Now here on the screen, you will be able to see the packaging that I was sent for these foundations, okay? Now don't think because I do this shit on YouTube that when you order this stuff, if you happen to, after watching this video, order these foundations, okay, that you're not gonna get this impeccable ass packaging as well. We all get this beautiful ass packaging, in fact, I, every product I've shown you guys on this channel, you guys have seen just how beautiful the packaging is, including when I've purchased the products myself, okay? So if you guys see the beautiful box that it came in with all the stuffing on the inside, the packaging on every single product is just absolutely amazing. You almost wanna save it and not rip open the box, but because I was so excited, I damn near did, just to get to the foundations. They sent me three colors of foundation. In addition to the fact that they sent me some lip whips and that also included this little bad boy right here which you guys are gonna see on the screen. And that that's the Beauty Bakery blending eggs. And these are literally, it's like a little package of just blending sponges, okay? And I believe there's six in this package. I have not opened it up because you guys know my first impressions. I don't open up or try anything out, but I do it on camera. So I don't really do anything with any of the products until I turn the camera on so you guys get to really see my real reaction to whatever the fuck my black ass 
success is trying out, okay? So let me go ahead and open up this because this is gonna whitewash the packaging out. But you guys pretty much already saw the packaging of this foundation. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous. It is literally just, I mean, I don't even wanna break it open, okay? But you guys also will see here on the screen as well that when you open up that little flap, you're gonna see the foundation is presented with a little mirror on the other side of it. I mean, it's just incredible. Then you pull the foundation out from the bottom like this, and this is how you're going to get your foundation, okay? So, these foundations, just to give you some stats, they are $28, so the price point is actually really, actually, really, really good. Um, it is cheaper than an Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I consider Estee Lauder Double Wear not necessarily the most expensive foundation in the world. It's more mid-range, but it's a great-ass foundation, right? And this is cheaper than that, right? The other thing that is absolutely amazing, and you'll notice this when you guys go check it out on the site, number one, Okay, that needs to be noted because a lot of other motherfucking makeup companies don't do this shit. First of all, there are 30 shades of this foundation, including shades for our lighter, fair-skinned brothers and sisters out there because they included everybody in the shade range. And you're gonna be able to see that when you check out the site. That, I have to say, is absolutely fucking phenomenal. Because real talk, they really could've just come came out with just beautifully brown, beautiful shades because it's a black-owned company or whatever, and they could've just kept it at that. But they didn't, and I love that. 30 shades, including beautiful, lighter, fair, fairer shades for our, for our beautifully fair shaded brothers and sisters out there, okay? On the side, you will also see that with every color that you click on to see the swatch, you will also see an individual that matches that shade. It is so very well presented, okay? Now, there are 30 shades, okay? This is a demi matte formula, and let me give you guys an idea of what this foundation promises. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. It is also smudge proof, which doesn't surprise me because every single product of theirs is literally smudge proof. It is creamy, but lightweight, and it's not supposed to clog pores. And again, did I tell you that it comes in a shit ton of shades, especially for the first launch, y'all, of the first foundation, their first time around hitting the market of foundations, and they have that many shades. That's pretty damn good, okay? And again, $28 for the foundation, okay? So let me go ahead and tell you guys the shades that I was sent. And again, this is just based on them asking me what my shade is in other makeup brands just to kind of see what they could match, okay? So we're gonna find the best one of these bad boys and that's what we're gonna use on our face today, okay? So let me go ahead and first show you guys the actual bottle. So this is what the bottle looks like, bam, with this beautiful little copper top and then, bam, it's got a pump, right? And the color that I'm looking at right now, this is number 11, okay? And let me go ahead and pull out the other one. I got sent 11, I got sent 13, and I got sent 15. Now y'all know I like to keep it super thorough, so I'm gonna tell you exactly where those ranges, the shade ranges, actually sit on the scale of the 30 shades they have available, okay? So my number 11 color that I'm gonna swatch for you guys is the sixth to last deepest, darkest shade, just based on what I saw on the site. The sixth to last, okay? Y'all never hear me say that. I always say the second to last, or the, the, the one before it, or the deepest, darkest shade I could find, right? Okay. Number 13 is the seventh to last deepest, darkest shade. And number 15 is the eighth to last deepest, darkest shade because they have that many options to choose from. All right, on to the swatches. So, look, a bitch gotta get through this shit because my kids are napping. <laughs> so bitch gotta hurry up. Okay, number 11. Let's go ahead and get that air out the pump first. Sorry, it's not the, the cleanest looking cute swatch on the planet, but all y'all care about is the color. Boom, that's number 11. This is number 13. So that's another really ugly swatch. Number 13 is right there. Y'all see the difference in the undertones in both of those. All right, and again, ugly swatch. But this right there is number 15. So I'm kind of torn because completely different undertones, right? So I'm gonna put couple swatches on my face. Let's start out with, I'm not gonna do the red. I don't think 11 is gonna work. Uh, that's gonna be too light. Let's do 
13. Hmm. Man, maybe I do need to do 11. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. 11 might be a little bit too red for me, if that makes sense. I am probably between an 11 and 13, to be completely honest. Just kind of what, from what I can see, I'm between these two shades. Like if I had a little bit of this red in this color here, I would be okay. This isn't bad, but this is kind of, it's just a little bit too light for me. So, and you guys know, I'm just telling you this now, because I know some of y'all are going to be like, well, why don't you just go ahead and mix it? I'm not going to mix it. And the only reason why is because I want you guys to see the color of the actual shade on on its own because not everyone is going to buy two $28 foundations to make their shade and there's so many colors that you could easily find another shade that would probably match you okay I just happen to get these three and that's all I've got to choose from so ooh, let me figure this out boom okay so I went ahead and did my whole concealer situation. I'm pretty much using all Beauty Bakery products today. So if you guys want to see what I'm wearing, the concealer, if you want to see the review on the Beauty Bakery concealer, because I'm trying to save a little bit of time here, I will leave that eye card up above because I recently reviewed those concealers, okay? So that's what I have on my eyes right now. It's a very big rush job, especially because uh, your girl is not used to having these lashes. I just got back from out of town and went on a big birthday trip. So if you guys wanna see where we went, cause it was a surprise trip, uh, go check out my vlog channel, The Socialite Life TV. I will put it right here so you guys can check it out. Subscribe, cause those videos are starting out tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see where we went, then you guys will be able to see it in tomorrow's vlog. Anyway. So, it's a very big rush job. It doesn't look good. I got a whole bunch on my lashes because I'm not used to them being there because I just got them put back on. So just disregard, but we about to put foundation on our face so it'll look a lot better after this, okay? One thing that I read is that if you got drier skin, that they recommend before applying the foundation that you use their oil, okay? And they actually sent me their Wake and Bake baking oil for the face. They sent it to me a while back. This is gonna be my very first time trying it out, so you'll get that first impression here as well. Now, I do not have the driest of faces, okay? I've got a very normal to dry face. It just kind of depends. When it gets certain times of the year, to, in particular today, my face does feel a little drier, which is why I'm like, maybe I should go ahead and use this. I'm assuming because it is a demi matte formula that it might make it a little easier to apply the foundation if we already have this on our face as a primer, essentially. So I'm not big on oils on my face. I really don't do that a lot. So hopefully we won't have any bad reactions to it. But the container is absolutely beautiful. This retails for $28. Yeah. Okay. So how do you open this bad boy up? Here we go. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's like a little dropper type situation. All right, so y'all know I have concealer, right? And didn't mean to put that first, but we're gonna prime with the oil everywhere else, except the parts where the concealer is. Okay, so let's just bop, bop, bop. Just rub a little bit up here. Put a little bit up there, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't know how much we're supposed to, because I'm not a person that does oil on their face. Okay, let's see. Boom, a little bit, boom, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's dripping, oh, oh, okay. Okay, I think I have enough. I think I have enough on my face, put a little bit on my nose. This is not my norm, but because it's recommended and because I happen to have the product, I figured I would use it. Okay, again, $28. So let's go ahead and break out one of these eggs. And I think that's what I'm gonna use to apply this foundation. And you guys see that's kind of what the oil, I hope I didn't put too much, I don't really know. I'm sure y'all will tell me in the comments, but take a look you guys, look. Six entire eggs, this is $18 for the pack of six, okay? So, that's what they look like. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and start off with 13, okay? Which was that middle shade that you guys saw on the swatch, so. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and pump this out over here in front of me. Boom. And let's just dab it on the face first. Bam. Here we go. All right. Ooh, ooh, okay. So I was going to dab it, but now I'm kind of like, let me just get it in here. All right. Ooh. 
It has a very um, light smell, but it's pleasant. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, I was surprised by that. That smells really, really good. Okay. That's actually not that bad. It could be worse. And it feels super light on the skin. Super light. Seemingly very, very light on the skin. Okay, so let me, and I didn't, there we go. I didn't put a ton, but y'all see that? All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. And let's go ahead and get this side. I gotta move this wig, honey. <laughs> okay. Get a little bit up here. Getting some of that in my damn hair. Oh, he died quiet. That don't happen very often in this house. Shit. I got cameras in front of me so I can see what the kids are doing. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, how you doing this? And the kids are in another room, honey. We got technology, honey. Technology. <laughs> Boom. Here's what my face looks like. This is immediately after applying it. And I didn't end up using their blender, okay? I ended up just using my little Real Technique brush. And that's typically what I use to put liquid foundations anyway, or more brushes like that. Flat top kabukis, y'all know what I mean. So, here's what it looks like, okay? It actually doesn't look that bad, right? Right, back up for you, boom, 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 okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for a little bit because I do wanna see how it finishes. It does promise a demi matte wear, so it is not gonna necessarily be super duper matte. Y'all know I prefer a matte face. It's gonna be demi matte, which is kind of semi matte, if that makes sense. And I can feel it actually um, setting, and not in a bad way. Um, it does feel light on the face applying it. Um, the blending was actually pretty easy and it could very well be because of the fact that I used the oil first because my skin was kind of dry today for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, you, you can see it actually drying on my face right now. And um, yeah, it's definitely demi matte. It's, can you see that? Especially, and I just messed around with this side, so let me show you this side because this has been, um, this hasn't been touched for longer. So yeah, it's definitely demi matte. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I just kind of turned around and looked in the mirror. And just to give you guys a heads up, it does oxidize, okay? So I'm sure by now you can probably see that the foundation is a little darker on the face. So just be aware of that fact, because I actually thought this was gonna be a little light. You guys saw me put it on, but it did oxidize. So it is actually darker, and I'm glad I didn't go any darker than this, because it would have oxidized and it would have been you know, too dark for me. So normally, because you guys know I'm obsessed with this, okay, their setting powder is what I would use to set my face. But because this has already oxidized and this is a redder um, setting powder, this is actually the color brown and I love, love, love it. So this is nothing in, you know, there's no offense to this product right here. Because it's so red, I feel like it's not gonna look good with this color on my face. So I'm gonna just use my normal setting powder, okay? And we're gonna see how that looks with this. Boom! Okay, so this is just after having set the foundation with my normal setting powder, okay? So yeah, I definitely think that if I'd used the brown setting powder, uh, it would have been way, way, way too red. It would have just been redder on my face. So I'm glad that this is the choice that I made. But you guys, can you guys see the difference in color? But what I can say is, with certainty, is that the foundation looks really, really good. Looks really good. Let me get close so you guys can see. Okay, right? And this is a very rushed job, all right? Because I only have a limited amount of time before the babies wake up. Bam! All right, so here is my finished look. Now, the only thing that I should note is I don't have any mascara on my eyes at all, so I know it would have looked a lot better with mascara, okay? And they actually do have a mascara that they sent me, but because I have the lashes on, I'm going to avoid putting mascara on today, okay? But I did want to show you guys my face. Just you guys can kind of see what the foundation looks like. So I'm gonna come up close, okay? And the lippy that I'm wearing, I will leave it down below, but um, only reason why I'm not using a lip whip is because, uh, y'all know, it takes a while to take off. They do have a lip whip remover. However, the kids literally just woke up, so I gotta get back to tending to them, all right? So 
I thought something easy to leave on and take off very quickly if need be. Okay, so foundation is looking very, very nice, okay? Still feels really, really good on the skin. Only thing that you can see, obviously, is that it's oxidized a little bit, so it's just a little darker than it should be, so I would probably be one shade lighter. I could probably try the 11, okay, as opposed to the 13, and uh, if I do try the 11, I will definitely give you guys an update and a future video, but it looks really good, y'all. Okay, I'll see you, beauty baker. <laughs> cashmere. <laughs> I'll see you, cashmere. So, as per usual, we are gonna rock this motherfucker all motherfucking day, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my thoughts on everything from the rooter to the motherfucking tuta bitch. So, let go. So, I wanna make sure that I showed this to you guys before I forget, and that would be what the foundation looks like in natural daylight. Y'all know I always like to give you this shot. This is literally about an hour after I applied it, and as you guys can see, okay, flawless, bitch. Boom! I'm back, bitches! Y'all miss me! Okay, so, here is my face after several hours of wear, honey boo boo child. Your girl don't put this foundation to the test and let me tell y'all how I did that, okay? As y'all can see, your girl is in a sweatshirt because your girl was outside, okay? Playing with her kids all in the outside in the elements. I wasn't running errands when you go in and out of the car, in and out of a store, in and out of the house. I'm talking about I was in the sun, in the vitamin D that the Lord provides us, okay? Sweating my little balls off, running after my kids, okay? And look, I have not reapplied a motherfucking thing to my face. I'm talking about not a damn bit of powder. You see clearly the lippy is gone because when I got off camera, I went and ate me a nice little burger, honey, boo-boo, which by the way, I know you're gonna be like, burger, aren't you on a diet, bitch? For those of you guys that follow me on Instagram and on my daily vlog channel, y'all know your girl's been getting it in at the gym, honey, off topic for about 5.2 seconds. However, there is a special diet that I've been on that has been doing extremely well for me and you guys have been asking me all over the place when I'm going to reveal what diet I'm on which allows me to eat burgers and still lose weight, okay? I'm talking about full fat burgers with mayo and everything, honey, which is what I have for lunch, which is why you don't see this lippy on my face. That video is coming out tomorrow for Fit, for Fit Friday. I can't even talk today. For Fit Friday, okay? So, another video, a new video is coming from your girl tomorrow giving you all the details on that diet. So, sidebar for a minute, I digress. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Let me go ahead and show you all my face. Now, again, it's been several hours because I actually put this on when the kids were down for a nap, which y'all that follow me on the vlog channel know it's typically around noonish or so. It is now about six or so. I don't have my phone with me. I'm sorry I would show y'all, but I mean, come on, you can tell by where the sun's setting, okay? So, anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys my face, okay? Again, you might see a couple beady beads of sweat on the top of my forehead, because I literally just came back in from playing outside with the kids and taking the kids on a walk, okay? So, right? This is what my face looks like, okay? Remember, this is a demi-matte finish, so it's not gonna be super matte, but look how good it looks. Considering the fact that I was, I mean, I was sweating all here, all here, you know I sweat in my T-zone, okay? And I did not reapply any kind of powder to my face. Bitch. Okay, so look. Yeah, it held up damn well, in fact, my blush is even on, and typically my blush kind of dissipates after a while, and it didn't even go anywhere, okay? So, let me go ahead and give you the rundown. First and foremost, real quick, this, bitch, bitch, this is like Michael B. Jordan in a bottle, okay? I am very, very pleasantly surprised at how much I like this, okay? Not only did I think it allowed the foundation to apply smoother, but my face feels really good, and you guys know originally my face was feeling kind of dry. And I was a little nervous. Now I'm gonna see tomorrow, I'll let you guys know if anything changes with my skin tomorrow, okay? Because I'm always nervous about putting straight oil on my face, but I've heard there's a lot of benefits to it, okay? Even for oilier people, that oils on your face can benefit you as well, right? So, I'm not even gonna lie, this is expensive. This is on the pricier side. It's $28, okay? And a bitch did get that shit for free. However, 
I don't know y'all, it might be worth a try to see what you think of it. Comment down below if you guys tried this out and what y'all thought of it, but I am gonna continue to keep using this, okay? I will do a monthly faves and I'll help to the Nas video and let you guys know an update on this product and I will continue to keep using it in the meantime and let you guys know how I like it if I continue to use it and if it still continues to work for me. But so far, not gonna lie, I highly recommend this. I love this on my face, okay? So, y'all probably can tell what I'm fucking gonna say about this shit, okay? Not gonna lie, y'all, this foundation is damn, it's, it's, fucking, it's fucking great. I mean, do you see my face? Like, I did not touch it up at all. And I also sweated profusely running after my kids, okay? It don't take much for me to sweat. Bitch, you can tell me a bill is due tomorrow and my motherfucking head will just perspire immediately, okay? So, y'all know, running after some kids, I was sweating outside, okay? Fully beat face and all, honey. And this is what it looks like. Now, the only thing that I would say with this foundation, a couple of quick things that you'll wanna know, okay? Just be aware of the fact that it does oxidize on your face. So for me, I use number 13. More than likely, the number 11 is gonna be the better shade for me. I'm gonna try it and let you guys know in a future video how it worked out, okay? But I would probably have to say, even though I wasn't really sure, I thought 11 would be a little bit too light. 11 might actually work out for me or the mixture of 11 and a little bit of this. But because it oxidizes on my face, this is more gonna be a color to wear during the summertime when I've gotten a little bit of that extra vitamin D, okay? So just be aware of that when you're selecting your shade that it does oxidize, it's gonna get a little darker. I mean, it, it's, it got pretty significantly darker on my face, okay? Another thing you wanna be aware of is, I know it says it's, it's, uh, it's medium to full coverage. I would probably say, this is more medium coverage. Not gonna lie, y'all see, I, I mean, my face looks flawless. However, I think if you put this on too thick to a more full coverage foundation, that's when you're gonna start to get real cakey. And I don't mean that as in cake face, as in beauty bakery cake. I mean cake as in it's gonna be a little bit too much on your face, okay? Because it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's a very long lasting foundation, okay? It's one of those foundations that do really feel good on the skin. Um, and I don't know, I've not tried it without the oil, but I would imagine if you've got drier skin, this is gonna be a little more difficult to blend. Again, maybe look into getting the oil or use an oil you already have or just make sure your face is moisturized before using this because it is a semi-matte product and the matte is naturally gonna be a little bit more drying on the face. However, the other thing that I would also say, and this is only if you're just iffy about this particular thing, I literally love it. I love its smell. I know that sounds so odd, but immediately when putting this on, you saw that I caught the smell. And I still smelled a little bit of that smell after I wore it for a few minutes and left the room and tended to the kids. Now it went away, so it doesn't stay, okay? But not gonna lie, I love the smell. It's very pleasant, it's very light, but if you guys aren't really into scents, you may not be a big fan, but the scent is really nice. Outside of that, guys, for the price point, the shade range is great. This is their first go round, their first shot. I mean, shit, you never know. They might expand their shades even more. They included our fair skin brothers and sisters out there, hunty. Okay? <laughs> Beauty Breaker, you did that shit. Okay, Cashmere, you did that shit. Okay? So I have to definitely say it is definitely worth checking it out and trying it out for your damn self, okay? Now, as I'm sitting here right now, this actually is available per for purchase. It went live like last night at midnight, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So this is just like hot off the presses. Last I checked on the site, they still had shades available. So go and get you some of this foundation. Comment down below if you guys have checked it out yet. Comment down below if you guys have purchased it or are going to purchase it upon my recommendation. And please let me know if you guys have tried it out, what you guys think, especially of the oil. Let me know what you guys thought of the oil as well, okay? Anyway, you guys know the deal. Comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see in future first impressions videos. What other products out there you guys want me to try out and show you guys in a video? I'm more than happy to do that. You guys know I always follow up on your suggestions, okay? Make sure you guys, if you have not already, check out the KKW concealer, beauty kit, whatever the fuck, review. I 
put that up above earlier in the clip. It'll be down below as well. It's the video right before this in this playlist, okay? So make sure you go and check it out. Holler at me down below and let me know if there's any do it for the gram videos you guys want to see or any other types of videos you guys want to see on this channel. You guys know I am open to whatever. This is a lifestyle beauty channel. I do a little bit of everything here, right? And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video about the diet that I've been on that's been amazing. And, and I'll be able to show you my stomach too. Y'all know I just had twins. So you guys will be able to see an update on my stomach and all of that in that video. And yeah, y'all, you already know what to do. Thumbs up this video if you love seeing these videos from your girl. Subscribe to this motherfucker if you haven't already. Please share this video with others, okay? And tag Beauty Bakery. I love y'all. All my social media is down below. Follow me on Instagram. That's where I respond to y'all the most outside of YouTube. At Socialite Sandy, S-A-N-D-E. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in another video. Love y'all. Bye.